with 6 News at 6. A possible medical breakthrough at Michigan State University bringing new hope to brain cancer patients. It is our top story tonight at 6. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. And I'm Siobhan Klepfer. Researchers at MSU claim to have found a new way to treat cancer unlike anything else that has been tried in the past. A paper published last week by MSU claims to have unlocked an important part about how tumors work and that has scientists very excited. Yes, right now the work is being done focusing on brain cancer, but Nick Simon spoke with researchers who say their work could make brain cancer a thing of the past. Sherry, Siobhan, the scientists who discovered the new compound say it can shut down a tumor's main defense system. So far, they've been able to cure every type of brain cancer that they can throw at it in a lab, and they want to start human trials within the next three years. These scientists say the new treatment is not a cure per se, but if it works as good as they think it does, it could transform the way we think about brain cancer. Right now, the chances of long-term survival are slim, if at all, but that might be changing soon. Scientists compare the effects this new treatment has on cancer to the treatment for another disease that used to almost always be deadly, HIV. Because when I was in medical school in the late 80s and early 90s, HIV was a fatal disease. It was feared. MSU researchers say the early results from their studies indicate this treatment could have similar results for brain cancer patients. But this is first step toward that goal. Managing, it may not be a cure, but it's an effective way to manage it so that the future medical students will have no clue what we're talking about. The explanation for how it works can get a bit technical, but basically, these researchers were able to create a compound in their lab that they say is completely harmless to human tissue. When I asked them to explain what it does from the tumor's point of view, they said it's like a poison. This molecule hits. You stop seeing the sunlight. You start stressing out. You can't eat well. Things just go off the rails, and eventually, you just kind of die from too much stress and not even being able to do just the normal things. It does this by shutting down a key acid sensor in the outer layer of cancer cells that effectively stops these tumors from getting energy and makes all the other treatments we have that much easier to pull off. Right now, they're in the beginning stages of animal trials to work out all the kinks, and they're pushing to move to clinical trials as soon as possible. I was originally thinking uh, 10 years. But having these responses that we've gotten, we've actually changed our plans. We're going to do, we're going to throw the kitchen sink and, and we're going to try to do it in three years. After that, they can start on their next project, which is seeing just how many type of cancers this compounds could work on. Uh, it's not unique to glioblastoma. We have a lot of great data that shows it works in lung cancer, pancreatic cancer, but overall we have a huge list of just cancers that it works in. All right, so next, wow, how serious are they about this? And what are some of the other doctors saying about their results? So they tell me that their phones have been ringing off the hook. And I will caution that these are still in the early stages, mm -hmm. but the paper has received um, a lot of attention from surgical teams. They're wondering just when that they can start to use this in their own surgery rooms. And um, on top of that, these scientists were just excited. One of the scientists I talked to said that he'd be willing to stake his career that this is a functional cure for brain cancer. Wow. And another one said that in 100 years, he's almost positive that this is what his name will be remembered for. That's amazing. So if that's not something to feel good about this Friday, I'm not sure what is. I wow. I just got goosebumps. Yeah, me Incredible. too. I can't wait to see where this goes. Yeah. Me as well. We will stay with this. Okay. Right. Thank you so much.